your calls coming up and we've also of course i just came in with john bounds intro that he put together from death race 2000 because we were showing in the video of your radio listener actual homeland security articles where they train to take on school kids and kill them uh women old people uh, any gun owner to be killed with their no hesitation targets so uh don't forget any of that i apologize coming in with the intros and playing a minute or so of the music it's just hard to hard to turn that type of stuff off for me I know it's music to some of your ears and not to some other folks. You know what we need more of is Hank Williams on the show. L Lost Highway, Kalija, um, Move Over, Little Dog, New Dog, or Fat Dog's moving in. Hey, good looking, what you got cooking? I was listening to that last night. That, is just, that just touches the soul. I was actually watching old TV stuff of him like in the 40s. Hey, good looking, what you got cooking? How's about cooking something up for me? We're going to make us a brand new recipe. Yeah, I got $2. And there's a place over the hill that's got, uh, what is he? What's he say? That's got, that's got soda pop and you can dance for free. In fact, I got to go out now since I said it with... Um, Hey, good looking, what you got cooking? I need a vacation, folks. I, I really do think I do need a vacation. So I can just go listen to Hank Williams Jr. on a beach somewhere. And Hank Williams, of course. I like Hank Williams better than Hank Williams Jr. That's another side issue. See, what happens is I cover all this news myself, and it gets a little traumatic for me, and then I come back and I kind of digress off into having some fun because it is so incredibly serious. Here's some of the Russia news, and we're going to your phone calls. Russia uses 1999 NATO bombing in media war over Crimea. Reuters Russian television blasted viewers with 15-year-old footage of NATO bombing raids, burning buildings, and wounding people in Yugoslavia as they handed Kosovo over to Al-Qaeda on Monday to step up a media campaign against the West over the Crimea crisis as they pump more troops into Crimea. And as NATO continues to saber-rattle for war. Continuing, Ukraine fears Russia ready to attack. Ukrainian Air Force commander abducted by pro-Russian forces. That's out of CBS News. Ukraine orders Crimea troop withdrawal as Russia seizes naval base. That was part of a deal to take over their bases. They act like it's a war going on. They did physically attack a base where the um, army did not pull out where they were supposed to. The Russians did, as you know, yesterday. NATO general warns of further Russian aggression. U.S. and Ukrainian officials warned Sunday that Russia may be poised to expand its territorial conquest in eastern Ukraine and beyond, with senior NATO officials saying Moscow might even order its troops to cross Ukraine to reach Moldova. The warnings came as Russia was finalizing its takeover of Ukrainian military bases in Crimea. The peninsula is occupied at the start of March and subsequently annexed, and they voted to do it. So... <clears throat> Here's another one. Afghanistan supports Russia's Crimea takeover, welcomes Moscow back into country. As the U.S. military prepares to leave Afghanistan nearly 13 years of the conflict, they've just called them contractors now, folks. They're not leaving. With Taliban, three visiting U.S. congressmen had to endure a statement from Afghan president who they installed, Hamid Karzai, that was that was uh, released while they were in Kabul. Citing the free will of the Crimean people, Karzai's office said there, with respect to the decision of the people of Crimea, took through a recent referendum that considers Crimea as part of the Russian Federation. To date, only Syria and Venezuela have taken a similar position. Well, Karzai's been double-crossed. They clearly blew up his brother, the main heroin dealer, a few years ago, and that made him mad, and he said that. So he came out and he said, look, the U.S. government really runs al-Qaeda. They stage the whole deal for opium supply. And there's a world government battle going on, and we want them out. And it's not that I just believe Mohammed Karzai. When, remember he said that last year? That guy's type in Karzai says West behind bombings. And behind al-Qaeda. Well, of course they're behind al-Qaeda. They're behind them all over. They've always been behind al-Qaeda. That's how they keep all the Muslims in line and us in line. Oh, we got to take your rights, al-Qaeda. So that's some of the news on that front. Let me hit one more story on the First Amendment issue.
Then we're going to go right to your calls well into the next hour. And I got a bunch of special reports and a mass of other news that's breaking as we speak. Now, one of the big stories I wanted to get to here is the fact that I've talked a lot about how Hollywood isn't Republican. They're not Democrat. They don't like either one. They're sick of those two choices of ice cream. One's kind of a fascist old line tyranny. The other's a fast growing cancer of total socialism, anti family who want to ban the word bossy and control everything you do and reduce the world's population. The Democrats are the cutting edge of the globalist social engineering takeover. So John Singleton, echoing what we've heard from many others, top director says studios ain't letting black people tell stories, unveils Tupac biopic plans. As part of the Hollywood Masters interview series, the director criticizes so-called liberals. That's a quote. You know, I'm the guy that coined the term so-called liberals. I'm just, just telling you. I've been hearing that for 18 years. In the studio and ads, you've got a lot of black executives at the studio who are afraid to give their opinion about what black culture is. And uh, who's the big actor who's on that Homeland Security show that Mancal had on his show? Yeah, Lennox, who said, look, look, it's all socialism to take over and destroy America. Obama was, you know... Uh, Basically, you know, I was hired to teach him how to act like a president. That's why he sounds just like me. That's why they want me to play him. I won't do it. I mean, quite frankly, I almost run into no black people that I know that love socialism and turning their guns in and hate the family and all this stuff. It is absolutely a force-fed, mind-control operation. Yeah, there it is. Report. Obama is an actor trained by Harry Lennox. By the way, he called Mancow. He said that Hollywood went crazy. And folks... I don't just know Charlie Sheen. I don't just know the Gibsons. I don't just know, you name it. I mean, I back when I used to go out to Hollywood and be on TV shows out there, I just say no now. Because nothing ever gets done out of it. You know, come to Jesse Ventura's birthday party. Okay, meet a bunch of Hollywood people. Uh, go to this. I just, I haven't been to LA in a couple of years. Joe Rogan wants me to come out there and be on his podcast. He's a good friend of mine since 1998. Haven't gone out. And I probably need to, though. He's come on my show so many times. He's kind of like, I'm not coming on your show you come on mine. <laughs> yeah. And I think that's kind of fair. But the point is, is that I just get sick when I'm out there because of the smog, whatever it is, I, I feel weak. It's like kryptonite when I go out there. Like, I'm Superman. I feel great. I feel great in New York, London. It's not a big city effect. I go to L.A., I literally feel like my soul's being sucked out. It's more than physical. As I'm flying in, I feel it. I think Satan must be there or something. I don't know, folks, but I just cannot even enter the area. Uh, San Francisco, I don't get ill in. Like, I like San Francisco, and it's got a weird, creepy vibe to it. At the bottom, it's still a beautiful place and has a lot of good vibes to it. L.A. brings me to my knees, folks. I mean, literally, torture would be being incarcerated there. I shouldn't put up my fears. The point is, is that I have been... Let's not exaggerate. Probably 20 A-list parties over the years. I mean, places where there's... 20, 30 people in there, okay? And then I've been at probably 20, 30 or more dinners where there's top, you know, producers, directors, you know, top lawyers there. And all they talk about is the tyranny of the studio heads. And these are people right below the studio heads. And, you know, I've told the stories about Mark Cuban and stuff getting threatened by the White House, and I couldn't talk about it. I mentioned it happened, but I couldn't tell the whole story. Later, it all came out in the New York Times. They are on a very short leash, folks, and they tell you, you're going to make what's cool a giant fat black guy calling women names and running around waving guns around so that young black people will pick that up and the police have been trained to put them in jail. I mean, it's that simple. Because you look like a criminal thug, I mean, the cops are coming after you. It's the same thing. We're going to teach young kids how to be... You know, all in black, cutting themselves, hating life, hating humanity, so they have no life force and die. We're going to force feed Marilyn Manson. I mean, these are literally manufactured by...